We're here today with Manas Bothma, advisor to Meteoric Resources. Manas, thanks for your time. Thank you. Are you able to share a little of the background of Meteoric? Yeah, Meteoric um, has a few projects, joint ventures in Australia, um, gold and micro diamonds. Um, but we've recently gone into Canada and acquired some cobalt and copper and uh, a polymetallic nickel copper PGM projects. Are you able to expand a little bit on that acquisition? Yeah, so the acquisition uh, started with two projects, the, um, the Iron Mask and the Mulligan Cobalt properties. Um, they've both had historical work done on them with bulk samples and, uh, and production at very high grades of up to 15% cobalt uh, in one of the production runs. Um, then we picked up the Midram and LaForce projects, uh, which are our polymetallic projects in the Bellatere Anglia's Greenstone Belt, uh, which is located in Quebec. Um, these projects have in intersected historically massively high grades of uh, copper nickel uh, mineralization. These are hosted within gabroic sills, uh, which intrudes into this um, greenstone belt, and it grades from disseminated sulphide at the top down to massive sulphide. And uh, the kind of grades that we, we've got in historical exploration that was done on the property um, includes uh, intersections of about 40 metres um, from around 30 metres depth. Uh, these intersections have grades of you know, up to 3% copper, 2% um, nickel and, and around 3 to 4 grams PGEs. And what attracted the company to these commodities? The company was initially attracted to the cobalt pro uh, commodity projects uh, due to the, to, to the large rise in the cobalt price and the, the oncoming uh, supply crunch problems with cobalt, so cobalt is obviously a, a good commodity to be in and with the price currently around $60,000 a tonne, it's obviously anyone that can find a primary deposit will have something great on their hands. Uh, we also picked the copper nickel polymetallic project because of copper and uh, the rise in nickel price. Um, so copper is sitting around above $6,000 a tonne now, which is well above its 10 year average. Um, so this is definitely a, a, a plus on that project for us. And what are some of the key milestones investors should be focused on over the coming three to six months? So the, in the acquisition uh, that Meteoric made, we got a large uh, geotechnical database. Uh, this is covering the Midram and LaForce projects. Um, we value this database at in excess of $20 million. This includes electromagnetic uh, surveys, airborne and, and ground-based. We've got mag magnetic, we've got IP surveys. <clears throat> so this, what this has enabled us to do is to rapidly progress our exploration program essentially on these projects. Um, through reprocessing this data, we've been able to push forward our drill program and in the coming months uh, we are planning a drill program focusing on the Midram deposit where those spectacular grades were historically intercepted. Uh, we would do some infill drilling, some twinning, and then some step out holes in, in other conductors that we found across the region as well. So that's one of the primary things to look out for as an investor. We've also got our initial work programs and a review of historical data over the Iron Mask and Mulligan projects. Um, so that'll, that'll yield some results um, as well by the end of this year. Exciting times ahead for the company. Manus, thanks for your time. Thanks, David.